In developing tonight, police are searching for two men who shot and killed an employee at a Southeast Houston family owned car dealership. Uh, the shooting happened at the intersection of Beamer and Fuquay, bringing putting rather a nearby middle school on lockdown for more than an hour this afternoon. KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry is live at HPD headquarters downtown tonight with what we've learned about the victim. Bryce. Keith, Daniela, police tell us the victim is the car shop owner's son shot and killed just steps away from his parents as they all worked this afternoon. And the reason, according to police, because of a disagreement with customers about pricing. Crime scene tape and evidence markers filled the parking lot of Star Motor Company, a family owned business where police say the owner's adult son got killed by customers. He's been working with his dad since he was young, so he always helped his dad. Family and friends say he was the only son and undeserving of a life cut short. He was like an angel living nurse. I mean, he never cursed, he never done, he never harmed nobody, he never, I mean, he was a good guy. I've never seen him doing anything wrong. Houston police got called to the business around 1.30 Monday afternoon. He had an argument with customers over a vehicle transaction. Police say the argument had something to do with pricing. And while one customer started a physical fight, the other pulled out a gun and shot him twice. Unfortunately, it got way out of hand and ultimately led to this person's death. Both suspects took off putting Pasadena ISD's Morris Middle School across the street on lockdown as a precaution for more than an hour. We have no reason to believe that the uh, suspect at this time entered anywhere near the school. I wish that never happened to him. Now with shock and sadness, his family and friends hope for a speedy arrest. The only thing we can do, we can do is just pray for him. And tonight, Houston police say they are working with a lot of evidence and tracking down some strong leads. But if you have any information that could help in this investigation, call Crime Stoppers. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News. Bryce, thank you.